and welcome to Backseat Gamer. For everything else, there's MasterCard. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fortione. Yo. And Jason Amherst. What's in your wallet? Um, Not a whole lot. A dust bunny, I think. Uh, a, a condom from 2004. I oh, think. wow. You know that pain. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. I think it might be expiring. <laughs> I might have to get a new one and not use it for 20 years. Um, so you might be wondering, uh, okay, we're in a different spot in the game than we were when we last left off, and that's because uh, in between the last episode of Doom and this episode of Doom, there were there was a record. Uh, however, I didn't have the audio set up right in OBS so um, because I use OBS for uh. things outside of the show. So did I didn't you, unfortunately you now? Oh yeah, it's it's working now. I made sure of it this time. So yeah, no, it's it's actually working now. Um but because of that and we didn't make a whole lot of progress in the last session. So I wasn't too bent out of shape about losing. We recorded for 2 hours and I think about an hour of that was progress. So we didn't really get too far uh further in the game. So I wasn't you, too you worried know, about losing all that progress. Let me let me give you let me give you a kind of a summation of Mike during those reports. Who the fuck what? Yeah, there's a lot of that. There was a lot of there was a lot of where the fuck do I go? What the Oh my god. Where where, where the fuck was I? Where the fuck am I going? Who the fuck is well, I? Well, you know something? I just wanted to tell Jay something very important. The, uh, I just wanted to tell him good luck. We're all counting on you. No. Yes. Well, also, it took me nine years to get all of these cereals. <laughs> but Steven Universe. Congratulations, sir. Shut up. <laughs> ah! I'm going to get into the airlock before I run out of oxygen and start not dying. Oh, my God. For those of you who are wondering, what the fuck, for those of you who are wondering what the fuck we're talking about, it's a YouTube proof that Jay's posted in the Facebook chat. It's, uh, speaking of Sonic the Hedgehog, they finally announced the voice of Shadow. Oh, who's that going to be? And Keanu Reeves. Whoa. <sighs> I'm Keanu Dracula. I'm edgy Sonic. <laughs> I'm Sonic with Sonic? a gun. Who else to play Sonic with guns but John Wick? I mean, that's fair. Maria! Whoa! Does anybody remember when I was in a polar and do a music video? I guess not. <laughs> ah, I don't which, which which video was that? Rush, rush, or whatever that's. I song thought was I heard you calling my name now. Hush. Oh, that's the wrong song. Sorry, that's Deep Purple. My bad. Speaking of, uh, that's definitely not music Paul videos. Abdul. <laughs> it's, uh, remember the Michael and Janet Jackson uh, music video for uh, Scream? Yeah, yeah. You, make me, you make me want to scream, a, probably because there's some incestual things going on here. <laughs> oh, there there was that random, like, anime clip in there. Yeah. Turns out, it's just another, and, and I don't even think this was an actual, like, planned connection, but it happens to be another connection between Michael Jackson and and Sega, as it's from the anime Zillion, which you know, itself is a tie-in to a Sega Master System game. I actually thought it was a clip from Akira. Nope. Zillion. Huh. It uh, yeah, came out in 1987. Hmm. We don't... We don't often talk about music here for some reason. I don't, I don't understand why. We talk a lot more about uh, wrestling and other video games. Uh, so with that being said, oh, I think this is the Mancubus fight. That being said, uh, what band 
are you listening to? What three bands are you listening to right now? Whoever wants to answer that first. Um. Well, I've been listening to a lot of uh, Radiohead stuff. Mostly yeah. Mostly because I'm here. I hear songs from it on uh, Lithium. And it's one of those things where I go, you know, this actually isn't that bad. Yeah, you're coming up. Because uh, those of you who watch the show or, or, or have have watched anything me and Dane have been a part of over the last 20 years, um, you'll know that Dane used to have an incredible dislike of Radiohead. I wouldn't say he hated it, like, outright, but he just didn't like how it was, how it sounded, or at least he thought, until he started hearing it on Lithium. Hello, I'm Tom York. I have a lazy eye. Try to guess which one of my eyes is lazy. <laughs> uh, uh, also, also, mm-hmm. I've been listening to the smooth, smooth sounds of Chet Baker. I thought you were going to say the smooth, smooth sounds of Charles Mingus. <laughs> that, I got caught in a crush. I got to reload. <laughs> that's a good guess, but no. Now, did you say Chet Baker uh, or Chet Faker? Because those are both musical artists. Chet Baker. Chet Faker with an F? Baker with a B. Oh, Baker with a B. Okay. Baker with a B. Who the heck is Chet? Uh, just look up. Just look up. Singer and uh, Chet Faker. Just look up "No Diggity" by Chet Faker. It's actually a really. It's actually a really good cover. Um, it really. It kind of changes the whole tone of the song, but still, it's still good. And last but certainly not least, I have been listening to a lot of Tom Waits. So that really shouldn't surprise anybody. I was going to say, that's, that's, that one's not really a surprise, considering. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Never drive a car when you're dead and all that. <clears throat> Never lick my balls when you're dead. It's not a thing that I can do when I'm dead, Tom Waits. Or, I, don't, I, don't I was going to say, just don't, actually don't do it when you're, when you're alive. Too. Don't. Uh, I guess it depends on, like, the person like I would never lick somebody's balls but I'm sure there's somebody out there who probably would I guess oh, we don't kink shame around here yeah well unless you're uh, Vince McMahon yeah uh, then we're kink shaming the shit out of you uh, maybe not literally <laughs> what about you Jason what three bands are you listening to uh, I mean, it shouldn't be any surprise. I'm I'm listening to a lot of weeb shit. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I had a feeling that was probably going to uh, be your answer, but yeah, no, I I uh, I, I uh, I've been listening to a lot of uh, uh, Calliope Mori lately. It's uh, the the uh, rapping Reaper. The Rappin' Reaper. The Rappin' Reaper. <laughs> yep. Yeah, like one of her first songs was literally, uh, Could You Please Rest in Peace. It the, the song since, is, since you asked so nicely. It, I, <laughs> the, the song is quite literally filled with nothing but puns that play in both English and Japanese back and forth. Do not. So like, if you're reading the this lift, title, you, you understand spiders. it. I'm not Japanese. <laughs> uh, like, uh, you reap what you fucking say so, but the way say so is spelled is it's spelled S E I S O, which say so in that sense means wholesome, which is what people expected streamers from that company to be at first. And here she is, rapping and dropping f bombs. <laughs> oh my! So, oh my! Ooh, cackle demon. And like, 
quite literally like in the song Gomen Sereshimas ka Shinde Kurasai literally asking would you please kindly die for me? <laughs> well since you asked so nicely would you be, would you be yeah. so kind as to, as to die, die. As to perish from the earth shuffle off of this mortal coil you, yeah. you butt fucker <laughs> you butt fucker but, but then like the lyrics just get even more hilarious cause then like the breakdown in the chorus is just like it's uh tee hee bitch murder is so fucking kawaii <laughs> oh <laughs> Yeah. Why is this just Japanese Nicki Minaj? <laughs> oh God! Like, Ooh. well, I mean, because, because Calliope is an American who lives in Japan. My uh, anaconda Gondoru. Oh, uh, but I've, I've I've been listening to a lot of uh, also this uh, Japanese uh, hip hop uh, duo called Fake Type. Uh, which is uh, this this duo made up of Topham Hat Kyo and uh, Dice Iwasaki. So uh, Dice Iwasaki is known for doing a lot of uh, ah what uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, electro swing music actually. Interesting. So it's, it's, it's so it's like hip hop and electro swing combined. And it's just super fucking catchy. Ha! You teleported in dead, you stupid imp. <laughs> All right. Uh... And, and and of course my uh, my usual standby uh, would be uh, extra pan, Kishida, and bands like that. So. Uh, any, anything that gets me kind of hyped up to uh that's the extra you know, pain is the only thing out. that you've you've mentioned that I've actually heard of but that's uh, Kishidan's a fun surprise. band cuz uh, cuz their whole gimmick is hey we are pu uh biker punks with pompadours and such and such so uh, let's go out and party hey hey let's go kenka seru Taisetsu no mono, protect my balls. Protect my balls. <laughs> Bokugao wari, so let's, let's fighting. Fight let's, fighting. let's fighting love. Let's fighting love. <laughs> See, I know Japanese. There, there, there was a uh, song I discovered recently, though, uh, that uh, I just called the McDonald's song. And it was a... Uh, it's it's a song making fun of tourists in Japan and English. Ooh, and I have a chainsaw. Extremely, it is an extremely catchy song, actually. A uh, I just call it the McDonald's chainsaw. song. I'll skin your ass raw. I got a motherfucking chainsaw. Excuse me. So, I will... My three that I'm listening to... Well, for Nine Inch Nails is always in there for me. Nine Inch Nails is always in my top three. Just because of how good Trent Reznor's music ends up being most of the time. Uh, mm. The last couple EPs have been pretty pretty good. Um, bad Witch was, all, was not bad. I wouldn't say it was his best work. But it's 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 not bad. And then uh, the e couple EPs before that were all also decent. I'd say his last good album thus far was. Uh, let's see. At this point, it would have been um, hesitation marks. That was a really good album. Uh, but I also listened to. Currently, I'm listening to. Uh, the, the other two are both British rock bands, strangely. Um, the, ah. the first is Boston Manor. Uh, listen to a lot of Boston Manor. They got some really good stuff. 
And then the other the other one I'm listening to currently is Nothing But Thieves. Hmm. I heard they stole a lot of their music. Ah. <laughs> oh, service elevator elevator suspended. Well, that sucks. Guess I gotta go somewhere else. Oh, ah, Jesus! Elevator out of order. Temp escalator temporarily stairs. Sorry for the convenience. Eddie. Damn it, Eddie! You have lupus. <laughs> <laughs> Alcoholism is a disease you can the only disease you can get yelled at for having. I don't like the way the cacodemons look in this game. I don't know why. I can't put my finger on it. I can't put we, my finger on it. We we've said it before that uh this doom is less doom and more dead space. Uh absolutely Easy. it's more dead. This is doom space. I love. Now you're reminding me of the Ween song. Is it alive? Does it ride? Can it survive under the sun? I can't put my finger on it. Yeah. Is it green? Is it red? Is it alive or is it dead? I can't put my finger on it. Inquisitor oh. Sabs. They are so good to us. It is. We like the moon! <laughs> <laughs> because it has a dirigible! <laughs> <laughs> the moon is a dirigible? <laughs> was, um... What if it actually was, though? <laughs> and all this time we've been lied to. That's Isn't not a That, that is not original... a satellite after all. It's just a blimp. <laughs> Isn't that the lyrics from the original meme song? <laughs> I actually don't know because all the I, the only thing I know the Sponge Monkeys from is that Quiznos ad. Get out of here, Same. Pinky. Also, don't I, I find it kind of weird how the bodies ragdoll when they die, and they just kind of jump around. Jump around and then dissolve. I hope that's I don't know what bo part of the body that is, but I hope it's something I could show on YouTube. Anyway. <laughs> or you can mosaic it because mosaicing things makes it funny. Yeah. <laughs> I might do that. At, at least that's one of the rules of Japanese comedy. <laughs> it's true. Ah, Jesus. Oh, okay. So the lyrics for We Like the Moon. Ready? Okay. We like the moon because okay. it is close to us. We like the moon but not as much as a spoon, because that's more used for eating soup. And the fork isn't very useful for that. Unless it has not many vegetables. And then you might be better off with a chopstick. Unlike the moon, it is up in the sky. It's up there very high, but not as high as maybe dirigibles or zeppelins or light bulbs. And maybe clouds and puffins also. I think maybe they go quite high too. But maybe not as high as the moon, because the moon is very high. We like the moon. The moon is very useful, everyone. Everybody likes the moon because it lights up the sky. I like that it loves me and it makes the times go and we like it. But not as much as cheese. Oh my lord. We really like cheese. We like Zeppelins. We really like them and we like kelp and we like moose and we like deer and we like marmots and we like all the fluffy animals. Jesus. We really like the moon. I I I can't believe that that's what got them a freaking commercial. Apparently so. Yes. Fuck Paul McCartney. Those those are the lyrics of a generation right there. I suppose. Just remember, folks, the moon is a dirigible. Not really. As it turns out, that wasn't even a lyric. <laughs> I know. So that that you just made that up. 
Why do you think I said never mind? <laughs> the moon is a dirigible, just like the world is a vampire. And just like apparently birds don't exist. Secret My destroyers. wrestling. My wrestling company sucks. That's true. <laughs> Can we put up a picture of that of sad Billy Corgan on the roller coaster that Mike sometimes uses? Yeah. We sad boy. <laughs> That's Billy Corgan on a roller coaster. Billy Corgan on a roller coaster. Billy Corgan on a dirigible. <laughs> <laughs> God, can you imagine if he was inside a dirigible with all the uh, with all that air? His voice gets real high. The helium is leaking out of my balloon. Who the shit that is, is shooting a, at me? That is a deep cut from Doug. I don't know if anybody remembers. Oh, you. Oh, there it is. It was one of the Quail Man episodes where. Doug and Skeeter were Quail Man and whatever Skeeter's persona was. Skeeter so hard people would call her Patty Mayonnaise. <sighs> I I vaguely remember, but not quite. Oh, Silver Skeeter. Yeah, that's mm. it. This room is and becoming whole... Japan. Oh, it's a hentai all of a sudden. It's what a hentai. So the basic premise is that Doug and Skeeter are writing a Quail Man comic book and they start arguing about, oh, this should happen. No, this should happen. And they're fighting some guy called the Weatherman, I think, or the... Uh, the, the Wacky Weatherman or something, yeah. Something, something to that extent. And finally they make up and, oh, we're friends again. So they complete the comic book and Silver Skeeter and Quail Man the whole thing was the wacky weatherman was didn't like it when people didn't laugh at him. So the uh, quail man and silver Skeeter's thing was, Oh, let's not laugh at it. So he starts getting all bent out of shape and it's the his, boy who laughs at everyone. Let's all laugh at him. Ha, oh, ha. Oh, ha. And in the, and in the ensuing chaos, he pops his dirigible. And they're like, oh no, wacky weatherman, the helium's leaking out of your balloon. So then in this in this super squeaky voice, he goes, the helium is leaking out of my balloon? Now that's funny. It's it's better if you heard the clip than me actually. Yeah, uh, yeah. And not quite know. as memorable as there's a bomb in the lasagna. True. It would have been more memorable, La Bomba in like my lasagna. What's La Bomba doing in your lasagna? Uh, I don't know, but a little grace is needed. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> As, as you know, let's, let's, in order to dance the bomba, a little grace is needed. Anyway, um, what's Los La Bamba. What's Los Lobos doing in? And Tyson versus. Oh, I like this. M Tyson versus M Bison. It. Um. Actually, his name is isn't it Balrog? God damn it! In, in uh, America, not in, yeah, in America, in Japan, not in he Japan. was M Bison. I know, I know, I know. 
The more you know. In fact, the only one that didn't change of the boss's characters was Sagat. Who was? The rest of them rotated around. Who was Brick Lord? What was Vega's name? Vega was Balrog. Oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah. So Balrog became Vega, Vega became M. Bison, and M. Bison became Balrog. And Sagat stayed Sagat the whole time. Tiger! Tiger! And he's still an asshole. <laughs> Tiger! Tiger uppercut! uppercut. James. Do -do -do -do. Remember, so one of my friends had never known that Jackie Chan once dressed up as Chun Li in one of his movies. Oh, leave me alone! Jackie Chan also once uh, burned his own hands off in one of his movies. Practically, Le leave me alone. Police in Police Story when he slid down the pole in the shopping mall. All sorts of lights around it, and the lights heated, heated yeah, up the yeah. pole. So when he did the stunt and jumped down and slid down the pole with his hands, bare hands, and crashed his skylight into a thing, he fucking burned his hands off, <laughs> practically. So the scene where he dressed up as Chun Li was uh, for uh, the adaptation of City Hunter. Uh huh. We hey Lois, remember in Armor of God when they left in the stunt where Jackie Chan got really hurt? <laughs> Peter, I'm holding my boobs. I, I That's didn't really, right. Didn't really know. What That's to say. right, Peter. They did leave that in the real movie, and apparently, he had to get a surgery, and he fractured his skull, and there was a there's a hole in his head that he covers with something now to this day. I believe there's a hole in my head that can only be filled by you. <laughs> Well, Godzilla. Rodan. Oh, thank you. Oh no. There goes Tokyo. Go go Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah. Uh, it's non-denominational. It's correct. Erect. And so it's funny you mentioned the uh, actors getting hurt and them leaving it in the film cuz I was actually just watching a video not too long ago about uh, that very thing. Uh, actors who whose injuries made it into the film such as yeah. Harrison Ford's leg injury from uh, The Fugitive which caused his Harrison character Ford. to uh, run with a limp the whole movie practically because he tore something in his leg and it fucked him up what? I I don't know I don't know exactly what he tore it was something in his leg oh. some ligament get off my Get off my plane. Get off my leg. Uh, you're 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 restricting the flow from my adult diapers. Get off of okay. <laughs> Harrison Ford. Mm -mm -mm. Also, um, the movie Tag, the one about the. Uh, the childhood friends who played tag every year. Somebody broke their arm, so they had to get a cast and uh, paint yes. flesh colored. And I also believe in the Super Mario Brothers movie, the Bob Hoskins one, uh, Bob yep. Hoskins broke his hand. Yep. Extremely drunk and broke his hand. Was that oh, actually... Did the... they leave that in the movie, though? Well... Uh, I mean, they they wound up like covering it up in a lot of scenes. Yeah, I was more referring to stuff that happened during the filming that they that got caught on film, and was left in the in the movie, like when uh, is it Martin Sheen that's in Apocalypse now? When he broke the mirror in the hotel room, he was really well, fucking drunk for... and he sliced open his hand for realsies. Let's not forget. Dick Van Dyke and Dick Tracy did his own stunt, broke and, his collarbone, yes. 
And that's the take that made to the film. Yes. That is correct. And of course, uh, Hiroshi Fujioka, uh, the uh, original actor to play Kamen Rider, did all of his own stunts up until he broke his leg. And then they were like, that's it. Actors are not allowed to do their own stunts anymore. I don't, th- I don't think I want to do my own stunt anymore. Or uh, Leonardo DiCaprio slicing open his own hand on Django Unchained. Slamming, uh, uh, slamming his fist on a glass. That That's right, Peter. That wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. And he just kept, things that and, he, supposed to happen. and he kept going in the scene and acting like a bat like the while his hand was just dripping with blood like a badass. That blood. The uh guitar that got smashed in Hateful Eight was actually a real priceless antique. Yeah, I remember that. hearing about that. It's like oops. <laughs> We weren't supposed to do that. Or, here's another one. Uh, when Christopher Guest uh, bonked Carrie Elwes on the head in P- Princess Bride with, a, with a sword. Knocked Legitimately knocked him out, yeah. And that's the take they used. Whoops. Oops. Sorry, Carrie. Concussion. Well, they didn't have a rubber sword available, and they couldn't get a good take with the just faking it, so they had to actually do it. So Chris was just like, oops, oops, so Chris oops. Guess was just like La Bonk! And Carrie was, was, was woke up in the hospital, you know. So Christopher Guest was French, apparently. La Bonk! La Bonk. Excuse me a moment. I have to bring something down. It's Christopher Guest. I wouldn't put, him back, put it past him to go La Bonk. Where do you keep your money? In Le Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> the First National Bank. Yeah. God damn it. Where is Security Station 1? I don't know. I don't know either. See, that says area unlocked. Okay. That doesn't do me a fucking bit of good. Uh, oh, can I get up there? Yes, I can. No, but there's nothing up here. Shit. Game, why would you let me do this? It's a good question. Le Bonk. So, um, I put on YouTube videos as background while I'm at work and one of the videos that I was watching well listening to rather was a really good documentary about Doctor Who and how some of the lost episodes were recovered yeah uh, some cases they literally just have audio unfortunately and they've had to uh, animate it but hey, that's better than nothing. Some of those animators look look very cool. And apparently uh, apparently they found like five or six episodes um in Nambia of all places. Yeah. It's like, well, isn't that interesting? kind of like just in general like how a lot of these shows are with uh like when you look at uh series box sets and stuff like that like if you go on uh disney plus to watch like 
X-Men the Animated Series, you'll notice that a few of the episodes, for some odd reason, uh, have a different ending uh, sequence or a different opening sequence because they couldn't get the master uh, tape recording from it. Um, so instead they got from an affiliate uh, the syndicated version because once they hit 50 episodes, they were eligible for syndication and uh, the show started airing on other uh, channels with a altered version of the theme song that would play for the final season. Mm. And yeah, for some odd reason, there are a few episodes that you're watching it and you're going, well, that's weird. Why? What's up with this ending? This is a different ending and the opening was weird. And it's like, yep, that's because it was one of the syndicated uh, airings. They didn't have the master tape and that's what they put up on the streaming service. So the, <clears throat> it's so very sad that uh, the BBC for a very long time used to just wipe everything from their tapes in order to reuse them. And yeah. they, they, I mean, at the time, they didn't really know that Doctor Who would become the phenomenon that it was. So they were just like, eh, it's just a stupid little sci-fi series. Who cares? Let's just, uh, let's just wipe it. And it literally yeah, took... A cultural institution. It literally took a bunch of fans saying like, hey, maybe stop doing that in order for the BBC to finally end the practice. They ended it the practice in 1978, apparently, of wiping the yeah. joking tapes. So, uh, yeah. That is crazy. Apparently, uh, it wasn't just in Japan, like, or bitch. Japan. It wasn't just the BBC. Japan did that, too, with a bunch of uh, media. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was hearing about that, like how uh, actual like negatives and stuff like that have been uh, completely destroyed from like old media because of. Uh, was there just... was there any particular things that they that was lost because of that? Like any of significance? I think or... they're trying to. I think they're trying to like ascertain what could potentially be lost because like it's basically if the rights holders don't speak up it will be destroyed because they're not going to archive it. I imagine like a lot of uh, like animes maybe. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know, it's it's like, oh, it's random ass animes from like the 70s or, you know, 60s. It's, uh, maybe some from the 80s. I don't know. Like media preservation is, is so important and it just kind of sucks that like everywhere even even with video games you know so oh we don't want the fans to keep playing the game after we stop supporting it so we're revoking your license to play the game even though you bought it that's kind of a kick in the dick yeah, that, that's what Ubisoft did with a racing game recently. They might as well just stop at, we don't want the fans. Well, uh, the end. their new Star Wars game is going to have season passes for a single player game. Oh, 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 oh. On, on the other hand, I never thought I would say this, but Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard was actually a good thing because one of the former executives from Blizzard recently came out and said one of the scummiest things ever. Oh, we should implement tipping in video games for the developers. Uh -huh. Are you fucking kidding me? You, you, you force these people 
into 60 plus hour work weeks to crunch to get these games done. And Blizzard, they don't even pay these guys well enough to eat in their own damn freaking commissary. Disgusting. And they're like, they should get tipped by the people who buy our games. I, I, I thought I thought that's why you're charging for skins and shit in your games. You know, the cosmetics. I thought that that's what that was all that was for. And don't forget the loot boxes. Uh, they they gave up on that after, uh, you know, being dragged through hell and back, especially in Europe, going like most most countries in Europe are like, that's gambling. You can't do that. And they're like, oh, shit, we got caught. Mm hmm. Um, uh, loot boxes make me make my balls shrivel up into the size uh, of the loot little... box. Doo -dee -doo. Uh, excuse me, I am trying to. Uh, Charlie here is trying to speak. Um, it makes me want to fart. Well, go ahead, Jace. I mean, Charlie. <laughs> Mm. Did you just eat something delicious? <laughs> that, yes. Mm. Your soul. I said delicious. Not empty in calories. <laughs> <laughs> it's a delicious, delicious gamer subs. <laughs> uh, delicious, delicious, um... Maggotears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yum yum. Uh, Aloysius. I don't fucking know. Oh, I need a PDA for that. All right. Oh, I can't. Get public public I'm gonna make yep. out with. I gotta make out with a cackle demon. They'll probably die, but. Oh god. Oh god. I can't even imagine what that would be like. Oh, I would be swallowed whole, I think, because they have just the biggest mouth. They're basically a beholder. Oh. Yeah. So. Hi, Pinky. Yeah. Get a uh, silly smoke. Remember that time there was a beholder on Futurama? Yeah. Um, I, I do remember that. I don't remember. So please don't tell my boss I was sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, oh dear. Yeah, it, was, it was the one oh, where, shit. Uh, where uh, how Hermes got his groove back. Okay. I am Bender, please. Uh, he, got, he got replaced as the. Uh, yep. Uh, Bender's personality was taken from him. I am Bender. Please insert liquor. <laughs> so uh, nothing will ever beat though uh, the episode when Bender became human. <laughs> Woo, that wasn't even a canon episode. I think it was an anthology episode. That was an anthology episode, but <laughs> my God, it was so funny. You've seen it. You can't unsee it. <laughs> Good news, everyone. We're on Hulu. Wait a minute. So is that that's what was happening. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that actually good news? I mean, would you rather well, not? At least it's not Quibi. As I say, would you rather not be? Would you rather not be on the air at all, or is that gonna be arranged? It's true. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Family like, guys I, I got say, one put out the door. I was like, yeah. I feel like. You should be grateful that you got brought back a third time. <laughs> I mean, meanwhile, they're still attempting to bring back King of the Hill. Whoa. Bobby. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. Turn the oh, okay, fucking Dad. goat. <laughs> okay, Dad. Boy, you're free. Bobby, pondering the barb. 
Hank, you gotta let the ball. He gotta let the ball choose his own destiny, Hank. <laughs> Shut up, hell. Hank, you gotta hang, hang, hang. Dang it, Dale. This is my <laughs> Evie, and I will choose how I want to evolve it. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, dang on, you know, get on, dang on, Vaporeon Mound, dang on, fucking human. Fuck, I'm under the walkway. Meme. <laughs> you say meme? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, no, there's there's a meme about Vaporeons being close to humans or something like man, that. Dangle, dangle, man, dang, dangle, then flare all man, and then dangle, then leap on, and then, and then dangle, man, on man, you man. I don't know, if I was kind of lowly, I'd probably fuck a vapor. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Bill, go home. <laughs> My name's Bill Dotrief. I Let's jack off the big titty anime Bill. woman. <laughs> Wait, wrong Bill. <laughs> Hi, my name's Bill Dotrief. I I had sex with Ann Richards, the uh, the ex governor. True. There was, was an episode though. where they dated. There was an episode where they dated. Look it up. I still can't get over the one episode where uh, freaking uh, he, he gets all paranoid because he took part in some sort of uh, government oh, experiment, but it turns out he only had the placebo. Ah, you missed I'm just saying, Ow, ow, you're dead. If they... If they go through with this um, reboot of King of the Hill, they gotta just go with the just a video of Dale. I think if you're saying this, I'm already dead. Hank, if you're saying this, <laughs> the government already got to me. Or rather, my voice actor died. Shut up! I've always known that John Redcorn was sleeping with my wife. John Redcorn is a good man. So well, I'm gonna let that... him cook me. <laughs> but wasn't there an episode where we finally did figure it out, though, that John Redcorn was boofing his wife? Are we sure? Cause I don't remember. No, I think he, I think it was that his wife uh, stopped seeing John Redcorn. Oh, uh, okay. So he never figured it out. She just felt bad and like quit John altogether. Now accessible. Gotcha. Now accessible. Yay. Yay. I feed in your pool. I feed in your pool. Yay. I want to go on a gay cruise. I want to see a lot of pretty women What's... on the gay cruise. What pray yeah, tell? What, pray tell, is a gay cruise? I don't know if you're actually asking this legitimately or if you're... Well, I mean, I know what it is, but, like... Yeah. What if it was just a cruise ship that, that was gay? Not everybody that was on it, just the ship itself. See, the joke was... <laughs> In that particular Crank Yankers episode, he wants to go on a gay cruise. And he says he wants a lot of pretty women there because that would be a gay old time. Yes. Yep. But since Mike had to overanalyze and explain the joke. You can't spell analyze without anal. The ho ho ho. The ho, the ho, ho, ho. The ho. Da ho. Da he 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 ho. Da ho. Da ho. Here's a. Uh, 
Here's Banjo to talk about the evils of communism. Oh, it's Kazooie's wow. chiming in. <laughs> oh my god, it's that, uh, what the hell is that? Bottles. Bottles? <laughs> <laughs> and, and for no reason, Gruntilda. <laughs> oh, Doom Guy's True. screaming. I picked up a berserk. Actually, this isn't Doom Guy, but still. Wait, there was Grin Tilda, and then there was, uh, what was it, uh, Glen Tilda or something like that? The the good fairy? The one who, uh, yeah, used to tell you all of, uh, Grun Tilda's, like, bad habits and stuff like that. It's true. Gruntilda Grun voted libertarian. Oh my god. I mean, to be fair, only a very evil person would vote for someone like RFK. It's true. I don't know why anybody would want to do that, but they do. Robert fucking Kennedy. Kennedy! Kennedy! If you die a little faster, Kako Demon, I'm running out of oxygen. Where the fuck? <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, oxygen tank. Need that. Oh, oxygen <laughs> tank. Need that. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Candy? Ooh, a piece of candy. No, I can't believe that worked twice. <laughs> uh, shit. Go down here. I'm gonna go down here. Should I go down here? I'm gonna go down. Here. Maybe not. Uh, hey, am I supposed to conduct with my penis? My penis belongs on stage. Okay, so I'm guessing. Oh, there's the airlock. Oh, there are the coffee mugs. Oh, I actually finished a level. How about that shit? Wow. Hey, fucking sweet, dude. Is there a button to quick save? I want to know if there's a button to quick save. I don't care. The weather tomorrow in Washington, I don't give a shit. Fucking <laughs> pop-ups on my thing. The weather in Washington? Yeah, I don't know why it's... That's weird. Uh, oh, F F5 is quick save. Good to know. No, no, that's that's a move that Brock Lesnar does. Oh, that's refresh. Will you stop. Will you stop? Oh, foul pay. Marine, are you at the Marine? Uh, Marine, 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 Dan Marino. Ocho Marine. Ocho Cinco. ESPN the Ocho. ESPN2, The <laughs> Deuce. I I seriously cannot wait for uh, Knuckles. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's, it's Knuckles. Oh, you know what I saw the other day? Uh, actually, not too long ago. A couple hours ago. Um, the, there's a new game called Mouse. And I saw the f gameplay footage of it. And I'm just like, instant quick save. It's Cuphead. But a first-person shooter. Hmm. 
Oh, I think I saw that. Yeah, and it's it's in black and white too, like an old uh, Mickey Mouse, a Mickey Meese cartoon. Uh, but it looks amazing, and I instantly added it to my Steam wish list. <laughs> it's like this looks fucking great. <laughs> the art style is is amazing. So I can't wait to see that in action. God damn, Kako Demon, fuck you. Ah. Dick. Ousted stardom founder Rossi Ogawa announces that his new promotion is called Marigold. <laughs> um, how interesting. It's, uh, the initial roster will include Julia, who I guess is also signed to NXT, but hasn't debuted yet for them. Uh, Utami Hayashishita Mirai Mai Sakurai. Is Julie going to be allowed to work both? Um, probably she's going to have a few dates with uh, Marigold before going to NXT, considering the fact that her first match will be a tag match uh with an unnamed uh, partner against another former Joshi wrestler from NXT, Sari. Oh. Sari. Sari. Sari, everybody. Yeah, oh, yeah she. Uh, so Sari left uh, NXT and went back to Japan, but still wrestles under the name she had in the United States in WWE. I see. So Julia is going to be going up against her, and apparently uh, there will be English and Japanese commentary for this. Uh, that is it for this episode of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane, for Joan, and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time. Good night, everybody.